Hebrews chapter 13. Pleasing Almighty God. Let brotherly affection proceed. Always remember to be hospitable to strangers. For by doing this, some people have received angels without even being aware of it. Remember those in captivity as if you were shackled with them. Those who are persecuted, since you are in the earthly flesh likewise. Marriage is dignifying among all humankind and the decent, undefiled home, but all sexually depraved, evildoers, Almighty God will surely judge and condemn. Let your actions and behavior be without grasping and miserliness. Be satisfied with everything you have. Be satisfied with everything you have. For Almighty God himself has declared, I will never depart from you, nor abandon you. Therefore, we may confidently declare, the Almighty Lord is my helper. The Almighty Lord is my helper. I remain fearless. I remain fearless. What can anybody, mere earthly flesh, do to me? Be mindful and never forget your past rulers who proclaimed the divine word of Almighty God to you. Reflect on how they lived and expired and their fate imitate. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, certainly. You should not allow all sorts of strange doctrines to mislead you from the right path. For it is good that the heart and mind be set by the grace of God and not by following worldly rules regarding foods. Those people who follow these rules have not benefited in any way from them. We have a special altar from which officiating priests who minister at the tabernacle have no right to consume any foods sacrificed. For the earthly flesh of those animals whose blood is whose blood is carried into the Holy of Holies by the Supreme Priest to offer as a sacrifice for errors and offenses are burnt with caution outside the camp. And so Jesus Christ likewise, that he might sanctify and redeem humanity with his precious blood endured bitter tribulation outside the gate. And so let us proceed to him outside the camp, sharing his embarrassment. For here in the world, we have no permanent city. We only look forward to the one which is to come. And so let us at all times offer praise to Almighty God as our special sacrifice through Jesus Christ, which is the offering given by our human lips expressing gratitude to his holy name. You should always remember to do kind and meritorious deeds and be generous and hospitable, for Almighty God is quite delighted with these sacrifices. Follow the rules of those in authority over you and be obedient, for they keep watch tirelessly looking after your souls as they must give an ultimate account. Let them give this account happily and not with sorrow, for that would not be any advantage to you. Beseech the Lord always, beseech the Lord always for us, for we are quite sure we have a spotless conscience in all things wishing and pressing to do the right thing. In all things wishing and pressing to do the right thing. And I especially appeal to you to entreat the Almighty Lord in earnest and treat the Almighty Lord in earnest that I may be restored to you shortly. 
Now, may the Almighty God of perfect peace, who raised our Lord Jesus Christ back to life, the great shepherd of the, of the flock, through the precious blood of the eternal covenant, make you impeccable, impeccable, in every decent task to accomplish his will. And may he accomplish in us, through Jesus Christ, everything that delights him. Everything that delights him. And to Jesus Christ be all glory, infinite glory, forever and ever. Amen. I appeal to you, my siblings and friends, to be here patiently with this message of exhortation. For this episode, I have written to you, is quite brief. I want you to be aware that our brother Timothy has been released from custody. If he comes quickly, we will make every effort so that he can accompany me when I visit you. Our warm greetings to all authorities who rule over you and to all the holy people of Almighty God. The believers from Italy send you warm greetings. May the divine grace of Almighty God be with you all. Amen.